fixed cost value remain constant variable cost per unit remain constant hello good morning to everyone my dear student i am dr b s subramanya called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidyashram first aid college a temple of excellence mysore i am going to hand financial management to 6 semester unit 2 session 9 of bcom in favor of credit policy we already saw about the 8th session is considered 9th session is will going on what is a credit policy i am going to explain now see that Shri Limited annual sales is rupees ten lakh and has an average collection period is thirty days. Existing is thirty days. It is considering a more liberal credit policy. If the credit period is extended, the company expect that sales and bad debt losses will increase in the following manner. If it is increased by twenty days, it become. Seventy-five thousand become ten lakh seventy-five thousand. If it increase to thirty days, it become eleven lakh five thousand. If it increase to sixty days, it become eleven lakh eighty thousand. The bad debt is two percent, three percent, and four percent is considered. So existing how many you got? Ten lakh is there. Average collection period is there. Then come back to the selling price per unit is two. Average cost per unit is one rupee fifty paisa, and the variable cost is one rupee twenty paisa. He says, means your selling price is two, your average cost is one rupee fifty paisa. There is a difference of fifty paisa that is called the profit. In that one lakh fifty thousand total cost price, one rupee twenty paisa is the variable cost. Means another thirty paisa is called the fixed cost. Fixed cost remain constant. Current bad debt loss is one percent of sales, and the required rate of return is twenty percent. Which credit policy should be undertaken? Ignore tax and assume that three hundred sixty days in a year. So this is a problem. So you got ten lakh rupees. Totally, we have got ten lakh, and your selling price is rupees two. This is ten lakh, ten followed by five zero, ten followed by one two three four five divided by two. This is five lakh units. Five lakh units. Your variable cost five lakh units is there for ten lakh. This is for existing. Then, then policy A, seventy-five thousand more. Policy A, it becomes ten lakh seventy-five thousand divided by two. Ten lakh, ten lakh seventy-five thousand. Ten seventy-five over the divided by two. Five lakh thirty-seven five hundred units. Policy B increased by how much? One lakh five thousand. That is eleven lakh five thousand. Eleven lakh five thousand divided by two. Eleven lakh five thousand. So five followed by three zero divided by two five lakh fifty two five hundred. This is your units. Then C increase by one lakh eighty thousand eleven lakh eighty thousand divided by two. Eleven lakh eighty followed by three zero divided by two five lakh ninety thousand number of units. So this is the number of units. 
then regarding the variable cost your variable cost is see that 1 rupee 50 variable 1 rupee 20 paisa existing policy a policy b policy c existing how many units are there 5 lakh 5 lakh units 5 followed by 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 into 1 rupee 20 paisa this is 6 lakh Then policy A, 5 lakh 37,500, 37,500 into 1.20, 6 lakh 45,000. Then policy B, 5 lakh 52, 5 lakh 52. 500 into 1.20 6 lakh 63,000 then last one 5 lakh 90 followed by 30 into 1.20 7 lakh 8,000 this is your variable cost. Sales 5 lakh, 10 lakh, 10 lakh 75, 11 lakh 5, 11 lakh 10, 8,000. Then regarding the bad debts. Existing policy A, policy B, policy C. Existing 1%. 1% then policy A 234 2% 3% 4% on sales ah, your sale is 10 lakh 10 followed by 50 into 1 divided by 100 10,000 Then ten lakh seventy five thousand, ten lakh seventy five followed by three zero into two divided by hundred twenty one thousand five hundred eleven lakh five thousand into two divided by hundred. 22,100 then 11 lakh 80,000 into 4 divided by 100 47,200 this is your bad debts Fixed cost, 1.530 paisa. Fixed cost, 0 0.30 into number of units, 5 lakh, 5 followed by 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 0 0.30, 1 lakh 50,000. remain constant. So 5 lakh, repeat, will repeat, 5 followed by 5 0 into 0 0.30, 1 lakh 50,000. Remain constant. 
this is your fixed cost. What I did know, the existing 10 lakh divided by 5 lakh units increased by 75,000, 10 lakhs divided by 5 lakh 37, increased by 1 lakh 5,000, 5 lakh 52, 500, 11 lakh 80, 2 fives are 2 nines are. The existing we have got, this is variable cost and sales figures are there. So all we have calculated now, then we'll put into format now. Sales, the existing sales, 5 lakh, existing sales, 10 lakh, 10 lakh existing, increased by 75,000, 10 lakh, 75,000, 10 lakh, 75,000, okay. Next policy B, 1 lakh 5,000, 11 lakh 5,000, 11 lakh 5,000, increase by 1 lakh 5,000. Next you got 1 lakh 80,000, 11 lakh 80,000. This is your sales. Minus variable cost. Here we have calculated working note. Variable cost. See that what's your variable cost is 6 lakh. Next policy A. 6 lakh 45,000. 6 lakh 45,000. As per the working note, next we have got 6 lakh 63,000. 6 lakh 63,000. Then we have got 7 lakh 8,000. Deduct 10 lakh, 6 lakh gone means it is 4 lakh. So 10 lakh 75,000, 10 lakh 75, followed minus 6 lakh 45, 4 lakh 30,000, 000. then 11 lakh 5,000, 11 lakh 5000 minus 6 lakh 63000 4 lakh 42000 11 lakh 80000 minus 7 lakh 8 Three zero four lakh seventy two thousand. This is your contribution minus fixed cost. You calculated your fixed cost on zero point three zero per unit. Per unit. So 5 lakh into 0 0.30, 1 lakh 50,000. Fixed cost remain constant. This remain constant. Fixed cost value remain constant, variable cost per unit remain constant. Remember, variable cost per unit remain constant. Here now, variable cost per unit is how much? 1 rupee 20 paisa. Here, per unit remain constant. Here, value remain constant. Deduct. 2 lakh 50,000. Deduct. 
तो बोला एटी थाउजेंड टू लैख नाइंटी टू थाउजेंड थ्री लैख ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड दिस इज यूर प्रॉफिट देन वॉट एवर द बैड डेट्स इनकर्ड सी दैट बैड डेट टेन थाउजेंड then you got a bad debt is 21500 21500 then we have got 22100 then we have got 22 47200 we check up this your sale is 5 lakh 90000 11 lakh 80000 80000 into 4 divided by 100 47200 deduct the net profit This is two lakh forty thousand zero zero five two lakh eighty thousand two lakh eighty followed by three zero minus twenty one thousand five hundred two lakh fifty eight five hundred. Two lakh ninety-two thousand. Two lakh ninety-two minus twenty-two one hundred. Two lakh sixty-nine nine hundred. Then three lakh twenty-two minus forty-seven two hundred. Two lakh seventy four eight hundred. Check this. Right. This is your net profit. So we'll go total cost. What's your variable cost? Six lakh. What's your fixed cost? One lakh fifty thousand. Variable cost plus fixed cost is called total cost. Seven. This is seven lakh fifty thousand. Then, your variable cost is six lakh forty five thousand. One lakh fifty thousand. That is seven lakh ninety five thousand. Then. You got six lakh sixty three thousand, one lakh fifty thousand, six lakh sixty three thousand, sixty three for six lakh sixty three thousand plus one lakh fifty, eight lakh thirteen thousand. Then. This is your variable cost. This is your fixed cost. Eight lakh fifty-eight thousand. This is fifty plus fifty-eight thousand. Seven plus one eight lakh. This is your total cost. Then account receivable. Total cost seven lakh fifty thousand. Divided by number of days is three sixty. Ah, your existing period is only thirty days. Existing, the selling price three hundred sixty days. Thirty days. This is thirty days. Seven lakh. Fifty seventy-five 
followed by 401234, 7,50,000 divided by 360, 2083 into 30 days, 6,24,000. 62,499, 62,499, 62,500. Come back to second one. This is 7,95,000, 7,95,000 divided by 360. Number of days increase, number of days increase the credit by 20 days means 50 days. 50 days. 7,95,000. 7, 95 followed by 30 divided by 360 into 50, 1 lakh 10,417, 1 lakh 10,417, then policy B, this is 50 days means totally 20 days, 30 days increased by 20 means 50 days, then is 50 days, increase, this is 60 days, then what's the amount of this, 8,13,000, 8,13,000, divided by 3,60, into 60 days, 8,13,000, 813 followed by 30 divided by 360 into 60 1 lakh 35 500 1 lakh 35 500 last one last one 8,58,000 divided by 360 into number of days 60 means 90 days 90 days 8,58,000 Eight lakh fifty eight divided by three six zero into ninety two lakh fourteen thousand two lakh fourteen thousand five hundred. Then return expectable percentage. We are expecting 20% return 20% on this 62,500 62,500 20% divided by 5 12,500 20% for this 1,10,417 divided by 5, 22,083, 22, then 1,35,500 divided by 5, 27,100. 2 lakh 14 500 divided by 5 42 900 
टू लैक फोर्टीन फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू नाइन हंड्रेड नाउ यूर नेट प्राफिट इज टू टू लैक फोर्टी थाउजेंड टू लैक फोर्टी फॉलोड बाई थ्री जीरो माइनस ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू लैक ट्वेंटी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड टू लैक ट्वेंटी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड दिस इज द सरप्लस देन सेकेंड नेट प्रॉफिट इज टू लैक यू डी टू लैक फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू लैक फिफ्टी एट फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी टू एटी थ्री ट्वेंटी टू जीरो एट थ्री टू लैक थर्टी सिक्स फोर वन सेवन देन ट्वेंटी सेवन वन हंड्रेड नेट नेट प्रॉफिट टू लैक सिक्सटी नाइन नाइन हंड्रेड टू लैक सिक्सटी नाइन नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन वन हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन टू लैक फोर्टी टू एट हंड्रेड लास्ट वन लास्ट वन टू लैक सेवेंटी फोर एट हंड्रेड टू लैक सेवेंटी फोर एट हंड्रेड टू लैक सेवेंटी फोर एट हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू नाइन हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू नाइन हंड्रेड टू लैक सेवेंटी फोर एट हंड्रेड टू लैक सेवेंटी फोर एट हंड्रेड माइनस Forty two nine hundred two lakh twenty eight nine hundred twenty eight nine hundred. We we'll check this one. This is two lakh seventy four eight hundred two lakh seventy four eight hundred forty two nine hundred. This is two lakh thirty one nine hundred. Your second profit is two lakh sixty nine nine hundred. Two lakh sixty nine nine hundred minus expected return twenty seven one hundred. Two lakh forty two eight hundred. Correct. Two lakh twenty seven five hundred. Two lakh Thirty-one nine hundred. So, if you see that, no, which is more here, two lakh forty-two eight hundred is more. So, your surplus is more. Surplus is more in policy B. So, B is acceptable. B is. X B policy acceptable for a uh, sixty days. So your account receivable is twelve thousand five hundred twenty two thousand eighty three twenty seven one hundred forty two nine hundred. It's okay for us, but your net profit is more here, no? Your net profit is two lakh forty thousand, two lakh forty thousand, two lakh forty thousand. Minus you are expecting only twelve thousand five hundred, two lakh twenty seven five hundred will come here. Check this once again. Then your net profit is two lakh fifty eight five hundred, two lakh fifty eight five hundred. We are expecting how much? 
Two lakh fifty-eight five hundred. You are expecting twenty-two thousand eighty-three. Two lakh fifty-eight five hundred. Two lakh fifty-eight five hundred. But how much you are expecting now? Twenty-two thousand eighty-three minus twenty-two zero eighty-three. Thirty-six four one seven. Correct. Then last one. You can check this also. Two lakh sixty nine nine hundred. Two lakh sixty nine nine hundred. Net profit. Return expected twenty seven one hundred. Two lakh forty two eight hundred. This is correct. So among them, so first existing is how much? Two lakh twenty seven five hundred. Second one two lakh thirty six four hundred seven. Then two lakh forty two eight hundred. Two lakh thirty one nine. Which is the highest one? Policy B. Highest is there. Surplus is more in policy B. So B policy acceptable of sixty days among them. So policy B of this is acceptable. Policy B is acceptable having the more profit here. We got two lakh forty two eight hundred. Hope you understand this. What's the procedure? Sales minus variable cost is contribution minus fixed cost is profit minus bad debt is net profit. Then total cost return on that you can have that. So we have got so many problems on credit policy. We can have some more problem next session. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.